You have probably seen ferns growing in gardens or in someone's backyard. Ferns are a type of pteridophyte. Pteridophytes are plants that flourish in a damp, cool and shady habitat, although some species also grow in sandy soil conditions. They occupy a special place in plant evolution as they were the first terrestrial plants to possess vascular tissues. And true root, stem and leaves. The leaves of a pteridophyte are large as in ferns or small as in the case of Selaginella. Pteridophytes are widely used as ornamental plants, soil binders and for medicinal purposes. Based on the organization of the plant body, including the nature of the leaf and location of sporangia, they are classified as Coelopsida, Lycopsida, Sphenopsida and Pteropsida. The life cycle of a pteridophyte begins when the plant body, a sporophyte, bears sporangia, which are subtended by leaf-like appendages called sporophylls. However, in some genera like Equisetum, sporophylls might form distinct and compact structures called strobili or cones. The sporangia produce spores in spore mother cells by meiosis, which germinate into gametophytes called prothallus, a small, multicellular, free-living and mainly photosynthetic gametophyte, which grows only in cool, damp and shady places. The prothallus also bears the male and female sex organs, the antheridium and archegonium. The antheridium produces the male gametes called antherozoids, whereas the archegonium produces an egg. When released, antherozoids travel through water and eventually reach the mouth of the archegonium where each one fuses with an egg to form a zygote. This zygote develops into a young embryo, which further develops into a multicellular and well-differentiated young sporophyte, and ultimately into a mature sporophyte. This completes the life cycle of a pteridophyte, which is divided into the gametophytic phase and the sporophytic phase, the most dominant phase. Pteridophytes can be homosporous or heterosporous. Homosporous pteridophytes produce spores of similar kind, while heterosporous pteridophytes produce two different types of spores, large or megaspores and small or microspores. Megaspores germinate into female gametophytes, which produce eggs, while microspores germinate into male gametophytes, which produce antherozoids. The egg and antherozoid fuse to form a zygote, which develops into a young embryo, which then gives rise to a sporophyte. These pteridophytes occupy an important place in the plant kingdom as they were the first plants to have true roots, stems and leaves as well as vascular tissues.